Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Hey everybody, the old captain here. If you have a video request or any kind of consultation for older brother, father you never had, wise uncle, because my dad wasn't fucking around and my dad was a fucking pussy and my mom was fucking the ball breaker in the family, go to assholeconsulting.com. And ladies, too, we'll take care of you. I mean, you got money, it's green, we'll take care of you. <coughs> hey, Cappy, it's about time I need your help again. Although I found a job and been doing well in college, you're still on another problem. As you already know, I want to be an inventor and contribute something to the world. However, I'm a bit of a loser, so I want to know how to man the fuck up and take better control of my life. I asked everyone else to know Avell because they simply admitted they don't know how, so I hope that you would know how. Mainly, it's a social issues and achievements. So here's a short version. I've never had a girlfriend. Go ask girls out. I've never had a friend. That's too bad for you. Okay? Start being social. Go hang out with people. Play kickball. Do something. I've never won any real awards aside from marks of participation and attendance ones. Haven't achieved anything special. Well, yeah, that's everybody, so don't worry about that. I'm a wimp. I have no abs, triceps, biceps, and bad at sports. Go to the gym. I have poor work ethic and I half-ass things. Tough shit for you, cocksucker. I'm pessimistic and nihilistic, but declared no declared ideology. Um, uh, those are those. Okay, good for you. I don't know what what's wrong with that. Pessimistic is just realistic. Nihilistic, I'm thinking, is just basically on target and on on the spot. I have extremely poor self-image and self-loathing. <clears throat> Too bad for you. Please help. I know you won't sugarcoat shit like the, my leftist therapists and social workers. Thanks, your guys. Look, dickhead, you're talking to therapists. And they can't do things for you, and I can't do things for you. You have to do these things. You're a fucking loser. You even admit it yourself, which means you know what it is. This gets boiled. This boils down to the number one cause for all these sad, mopey, millennial, weak-ass fucks and Gen X. They're out there. <clears throat> you're just lazy. They're just lazy fucks who don't want to wake up in the morning and do what is required to get other people in the world to like you or willingly spend time with you. That's all it is. I'll say it again. The number one thing in life is other people. And to get other people to want to spend time with you, guess what? You got to make it worth their time. You have to become an interesting enough person. You have to make it. For example, everybody's looking at their phones. I was at a, a place uh, for a holiday. And uh, there is a woman there who was very upset when um, the kids would look at their phones and not have conversations. And I, I don't really view that as, as rude or anything like that because that's what it is. And admittedly, on this little thing, these are amazing things. This can access the world's information. The, world, the sum of all human knowledge and history is accessible almost immediately on these little devices. And that is the hurdle by which other people must jump. That is that is the standard you must be. You must become a more interesting person than this because if you're not, why the fuck would anybody else leave this to talk to your sad, pathetic ass? All right? But here's the thing. You're just lazy. That's all it is. I do things half-ass. I don't go to the gym. Ho, ho, ho. Don't, don't complain. You've chosen this. You Every day you can wake up and choose. You know it has to be done. Don't act like there's some kind of fucking... You're asking me for an easy way out. There is no easy way out. You want a girlfriend? Hit the fucking gym. Develop some personality. Watch some Cary Grant flicks. Watch some Sean Connery James Bond. Not fucking grumpy who fucking was in the latest James Bond. You don't have friends? Jesus Christ, even me at my nerdiest, I had tons of friends, they were great friends. But I mean, what do you offer to them? Do you play? Are you funny? Are you witty? <clears throat> do you shut up? Do you listen to them talk? Do you make res uh, observations or responses to what they said to help them? I mean, do you make them laugh? You're a wimp, you don't go to the gym. I mean, what? You do things half at what? What? Am I supposed to do everything for you? Don't act like you don't know what the solution is. And here's the thing, I don't give a shit because I don't like people like you. No one likes people like you. Nobody feels sorry for you. They're like, what a fucking whiner. We feel sorry for the guy like busts his ass off, or goes to Iraq, get his leg blown off. Those are the people we feel bad for because they try. But if you're so lazy, you're not even going to fucking try to like make yourself entertaining or worthwhile to other people. Don't fucking become the class clown. Do something. Do anything that's interesting or unique to you and you will naturally find the people that find this shit interesting. Play Dungeons and Dragons. I don't know how you can't have friends. That's the one 
one thing I don't get, even the nerdiest of people can have a grand old time playing Dungeons and Dragons down at the fucking uh, co local comic book store. Don't tell me you can't go online and look up shit like on Meetup and find a D&D &D or a Battletech or a Shadowrun or something like that. There's no fucking way you can't tell me you don't know there's places like that out there. Just go and do. Choose today that tomorrow and for the rest of your life, you're not going to be this whiny fucking cunt. And that it's your choice. Your choice. Your therapist can't do it for you. Your social workers can't do it for you. I can't do it for you. So when and you know it, so don't act like... So if you're, you're one of two things, you're either seeking attention, in which case I charge, so fuck you, I got your money, thank you very much. <laughs> or you're hoping there's some kind of like magical pill you just take and all this shit happens. No! Just, just please, please, choose tomorrow to go and join a D&D club. Choose tomorrow to join a volleyball league. Choose tomorrow to go running and doing some push-ups. Discipline. Choose that tomorrow you're not going to be this lazy fucks that does things half-ass. I have no solution for you other than you know the solutions deep down inside. You just choose not to do them because you're lazy. You, you are so afraid of hard work. Now, this is even hard work going and playing Dungeons and Dragons. Go run two or three miles. That's not hard. But you are so afraid of that minimal amount of work that you, you're just that lazy. You'd rather live this miserable life that you have. That, that is not even worth living. It isn't. I'm not saying commit suicide. I'm saying you're not going to solve your problem. You're going to be miserable for the rest of your life. So if you don't like your situation now, fucking quit being a pussy. Man the fuck up and do exactly what you know what needs to be done, even though you don't like to do it. Because i got news for you. It's going to lead down to a better path than what you got now. That's all I got. Toodles.